Um, obviously, going up against a tough opponent on the road uh, this weekend, it seems like they mix up their looks up front, especially in that front seven and end on the defensive line. How do you feel like that might impact the way you guys run the ball this week? Are you going to try to avoid certain players? What might that look like? I mean, they're, they're, they're a great team up front. I don't think we're going to try uh, to do anything different from, from our standpoint. You know, we got great we got great guys on our line and you know our front our front is good as well. There are any of the fronts that I uh, that we can play this season. So uh, I don't think we're gonna shy away from anything. You know, we got we got great guys on our team as well. So just, that is just gonna uh, come down to making plays and you know coming with a strong game plan. Is there any players within that front seven that maybe stand out to you? Uh yeah, they got a couple of guys, uh, you know, eighty nine number one. You know, uh, as far as their back is zero, uh, you know, they got some uh, some great big guys up front. So we're just studying them right now and uh, just coming strong with a uh, great game plan. X! Coach Guano uh, described you yesterday as it's pretty much like a film junkie. You're we always watching film, it seems like. Uh, where do you think that sort of that habit, that pedigree kind of comes from? Where, where, where did that start? Uh, you know, a lot of guys, you know, it's a lot of pro athletes, you know, uh, that talks about separating yourself from. Uh, you know, a lot of different players that you that might play the same position as you. Um, you know, so you know, I try to uh, harp on that. You know, separate myself. And you know, football is a job. You know, for a lot of college athletes. And you know, besides schoolwork, you know, you really take this serious. So uh, you know, I definitely take this serious. You know, I want to separate myself and be the best running back that I can be. And you know, once you know your, uh, once you watch enough film, you get to know your opponent. There uh, won't be no like surprises come game time. So you'll be. Uh, familiar with everything that they try to throw at you, you know, defensively. So. Played a lot of football at Wyoming. Was there anything that in your first game in ASU colors that maybe surprised you a little bit? Say that again? Um, I just said you played a lot of football, you know, at Wyoming. Was there anything playing for ASU the first time that surprised you? Uh, I, I, would, I would say the speed of the game. Uh, you know, I think it, this is a faster tempo here. And, you know, it's definitely a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of athletic guys here uh, on our offense and our side of the ball. So um, I would say the speed of the game is uh, probably the difference uh, here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. And do you think like that first half was more of like a rise to the comfort level um, transition period for you and that allowed you to get, you know, going in the second half? Yeah, I, I would say just, I wouldn't say the first half, but. I, I say like the first two series was you know just trying to get a feel for it, uh, just just to see you know how, how fast the line plays, how fast we can go as well, and uh, just being able just to you know recognize you know what type of offense you know identity that we have, just because we got a, a couple new faces on offense, so you know that was our first uh, first game playing together, so just trying to find our identity and how fast you know uh, we can play on our own. One more question. Is there a, an offensive lineman up front that you just kind of love running behind? Is there one that really uh, knows what, what she, No, I love all like? of them. That, that's, that's why we got the dudes up there. You know, I love, I, I can name all of them. You know, they, they all unique and, and explosive in their own way. You know, starting from Messiah to LD to Ben to uh, uh, Dez and Chris, you know, them, those guys, you know. And then, you know, Joey, you know, before he got hurt, you know, we had a lot of great to the line and depth up there. So, uh, you know, those guys can, you know, uh, they got different attributes and, and different athletic uh, athleticism to, you know, where they can, you know, move laterally and, you know, get vertical. So, you know, and, and that's, I'm pretty sure every, and, you know, that's why they came here. That's why Coach Herm told them. And, you know, I just got to trust in the process. Do you see the one clip of, of Bowley 